Throughout his life, Holocaust survivor Felix Goldberg displayed extreme resilience and the will to live. But first, what is resilience? Resilience is the capacity or capability to overcome or recover quickly from difficulties. This is how Felix Goldberg showed resilience. Goldberg was 21 years old when he enlisted in the Polish army in 1939. He and his brothers fought against the Germans. Eventually, he was apprehended and imprisoned. For seven months, he and many others were sent to do arduous farm work in the cold. Following their release and transfer to a different camp, Goldberg and his older brother faced a new set of challenges. Goldberg became very ill and he was rendered temporarily paralyzed. He struggled with his feelings of isolation and a lack of basic human needs on a regular basis. Despite those obstacles, his will to live and his desire to return to his family helped him prevail. Over the next two years, he was sent to many different camps. They forced him to wear the Gold Star of David, which identified him as Jewish. The Nazis brutally beat him. At the camps, food was scarce, and disease spread easily and wiped out many of the Holocaust victims. Typhoid was one of the common diseases spread through the camps. Goldberg was a victim of typhoid. Luckily, he survived. Then Felix met Bluma. Bluma gave Goldberg a new sense of hope. He had more to live for. They began to live for each other. After a short time, they were married. Although they were still in the displaced persons camp, they remained hopeful and filled with joy. They were resilient. It is important to remember that resilience is always an option for each and every one of us. We must all strive to appreciate what we have and dwell on the good things in life like Felix did. He went through so many horrific events from the Holocaust and remained hopeful through it all by taking his memories, his appreciation for what he had, and his will to live, to have strength, and to prevail. But I carry inside me a very unpretty past, and I worry that uh, uh, what I experienced in my past, others should not experience in their future. Let us all appreciate the freedom we have and guard it and preserve it at all costs. That's all I have to say.